The concept of definite integral comes up when mathematicians are finding a way to calculate the areas under a curve given by the functions f of x and two different points a and b in the coordinate axis. So when finding a method to calculate this area is when the definite integral comes up. A way to find that area could be to divide the segment A B in a number of smaller segments we can approximate the area we are looking for the area under the curve between points A and B by the sum of the area of these rectangles these rectangles with a constant width increment of x for all of them so the sum of the area of all rectangles will give us the total area the total area would be the sum of all rectangles from A to B from, let's put it in this way from A to B and uh, the area for each one of those rectangles is the height uh, that height would be f of x f of x varies along the curve but f of x is the, the height for each rectangle times width increment of x So well, that would be an approximation of the area. If we make the rectangles narrower, narrower, we will get a, a better approximation to the area. Now, increment of x is narrower, so we have more rectangles. So now we have a better approximation of the area that we are looking for but it's not the exact area. The exact area is obtained when we take the limit when increment of x goes to zero. Increment of x becomes infinitely small then we have a, an infinite number of rectangles. When increment of x becomes infinitely small we call that differential of x and then we replace this symbol, the sum of all rectangles by the sum of a continuous of rectangles the sum of an infinite number of rectangles we use this other symbol and S for sum of an infinite number of rectangles between A and B and this is the original meaning the original geometrical meaning of uh, definite integral